Hi, day 87. It's late again. I keep trying to go to bed early. It's not happening. It's 10 o'clock. But I wanted to say hi. Um, first thing this morning, <laughs> I weigh myself every morning. And it <laughs> I had to laugh. It showed like 125.5. That means I'm gaining over a pound a day. That rate, I'm going to be back to my 137 pounds in two weeks <laughs> or less. That's ridiculous. Um, I just wanted to share that because I can't be that much. That's, that's like impossible. Um, isn't it? No. <laughs> the, the scale's pretty darn accurate, so that makes no sense. And then uh, this evening... And as in mid-afternoon, I'm like, I'm going to try it again. And I got on the scale, on the scale and said 126.2. Like, I had eaten. And I'm just like, this is looking a little weird. <laughs> so, um, that's weird. I'm like getting real, going back to my normal weight, which, what's going on here? I do have a little bit of medicinal thing again, though. So that is kind of weird because I've been feeling completely normal the past couple days and I still feel completely normal today. But um, yeah, just a little bit of the medicinal thing. Not a big, not, not, a, not, not much, but it's there. It's kind of like um, a little bit. And the weirdest thing is, you know, I have chemo this Monday and, you know, it's only, oh, hi, Bima. I'm glad you didn't use your claws, sheepers. That would have hurt. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. See, he, he completely distracted me. Because I thought he was going to slice his paw, claw into me accidentally. Um, I did. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, my goodness. Total brain fart. See what you did to me? Um, I was talking about weight. He's not coming to me. <laughs> when I rewatch this, I'm going to go, duh, God, um, wait, wait, wait. That's all I remember is my weight. It's good weight. <laughs> I can't even wait. That's what I remember. Oh my goodness. I think I need to go to bed. I think I'll do that. And, um, so I'm petting the little, little Bemos here. He's so happy to be on the chair with me. It's all he wants just to be by my side. Oh my God, ridiculously cute. Uh, let's see, uh, Matthew and I went to Indy today. We took him for a stroll. It was really hot. It was a short stroll. Oh, uh-oh, we're in trouble. Beam is coming up. Oh, good God, he's gonna get in my way. I'm just gonna make this super short because I don't know if you can hear him purring. He's about to come on the front side of the uh, Oh, he's so cute. This is so distracting. I might even have to do this again. Um, if not, then I'm just going to... Go to I'm going to cut this, like, really short. Now he's, like, scratching his face all over the computer. <laughs> what a pain in the butt. You guys, I love you. Thanks for putting up with me. Um, I love you. I love me. See, he's coming. What are you doing? There he is. Hi, Beams. Mr. Purman, he's gonna go down. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Oh my God. Yeah, so I really don't have anything to say. So I'm, I'm gonna cut it short, because I can go to bed. And I'll have more to say tomorrow anyway, with some with some fun stories. I've been reading, I found my uh, a dream book that Rachel and Vaughn and I you know, have been filling out throughout the years. I mean, it goes back to like 2000. 2000. Um, it's super cool. I was just kind of reading through them and it's like, oh my God, I remember that dream. So how bizarre is that? To re reread a dream that you had like 10, 20 years ago and remember it. Kind of cool. So I've been, re I've been uh, filling in uh, current dreams because I seem to remember my dreams a lot lately and it's uh, fun to document them. But I get lazy, so I forget. 
and then a day goes by or two days goes by and I'm I'm like, Matthew, do you remember the dream I told you? What was <laughs> like help me remember my dream? And he says a couple key words and then boom, I got it. And then I jot it down in my in my little green velvet velvet. My velvet book. It's not even my book. This is Vaughn's book. This is his original dreams book that I stole because I do things like that. <laughs> I mean, we're talking, his first entry is June 27th, 1999. This is an old book. He got it from his, his grandma from his dad's side. So cute. Look at his writing is little boy writing. Oh, that's really cute. Anyway, up to current. I just put my last, my latest dream in just uh, just now that I had last night or the night prior. It's kind of fun. I don't know what it means. Uh, it was earthquake related. Oh, I knew he was coming up. Oh, Bima, not again. It was earthquake related. Matthew and I were in the kitchen and I knew it was coming. I could hear it. You know how you hear those earthquakes? And all of a sudden the floor, poosh, it drops below, you know, down from under our feet. And I look over at Matthew and he's just like, <gasps> like you couldn't say anything. He was like, <gasps> and I looked at him. I'm like, I'll be right. I'll get to you. Don't worry. I'll get, I'll get to you. And that was like pretty much the dream, you know, other than the <gasps> that feeling of falling. So I just wrote that down, and I know when I, I do have dreams, as we do, um, they're, all the characters are pretty much yourself. So I was, I have a, you know, like a split scared side, and, and uh, I got this, I got you, protection, you know, side. Uh, it was kind of interesting. So anyway, you don't need to know all that. Like I said, I need to go to bed. I'm just so tired. So I am going to do that. Mwah. I love you. I love me. I'll talk to you tomorrow-ish. <laughs> and Monday. Oh, that's it. Oh, my God. Brain fart. It came alive again. Monday, I go start chemo again. And what I was going to say is maybe that's why I'm feeling this medicinal thing because I'm, I've started thinking about it. You know, there's a little anxiety linked in, into these Mondays, you know, it's like this whole deal. It's this whole psychological and physical deal. And um, that's when I started feeling this medicine, you know, build up in my chest. It's like, maybe I'm thinking about what it's going to be like in two days. Er, but I can't do that because right now I feel good. And tomorrow I'm going to feel good. And then Monday I'm going to go in and I'm going to be all confident and positive and sit there for six to seven hours attached to this thing and the IV drip in my port and and then the pump. <laughs> See, I'm already thinking about it and it's making me anxious. Don't do that. That's dumb. That's a waste of time. <laughs> okay. Can I, how many times am I going to say goodbye? Bye. Goodbye. I love you. Get out of here. Hang up. Mwah. I love me. Okay, bye.